ending free breakfast and lunch for children in schools across the Commonwealth. This is a proposal some Democratic lawmakers are pushing for. WGL News 8's Tom Lehman live with the Capitol with more details on this plan. Tom? Well, Lauren, consider the fact that because of COVID, the federal government was covering the cost of free meals at school. And this is something that some Pennsylvania want, lawmakers want to continue, especially because that particular program has expired. House and Senate Democrats were at the Capitol today talking about two pieces of legislation that would essentially create a universal free meal program. It would cost about $275 million a year and supporters say the proposal is well worth the price tag if it means students will be able to focus less on an empty stomach and more about their schoolwork. One of those supporters told me that a lot of kids could use those meals, but their families simply don't meet the federal requirements for free or reduced lunch under the existing system. It is a tiny, tiny percentage of our overall budget that would have amazing return on investment for kids today and our leaders tomorrow. Now, this comes after Governor Wolf earlier this year announced a $21.5 million program for free school breakfast, but that only covers one meal a day. And Wolf, of course, is leaving office in January. I did talk to the Senate Republican in charge of the Education Committee in that chamber. He said he doesn't see getting this bill passed as a priority. He said there are some concerns, especially as it pertains to the budget. But we'll have more about that coming up tonight at 10 and 11 here on WGAL. For now in Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.